this is a super weird perfume for me to like. Um, it's another vanilla perfume and if you watch my channel you will know that I am super super fussy about vanilla. There's also, as it turns out, a lot of vanillas that smell dreadful on my skin. So I do wonder if that's one of the reasons that I've never particularly been enamoured with vanilla. That and the fact that when I was at school people used to use Vanilla Fields by Coty and that perfume always made me feel sick. So I think I, you know, there's many reasons why vanilla doesn't work for me. But occasionally I find perfumes that are very vanilla forward, but they're vanilla forward in a slightly different way. So the ones that tend to work for me that I like are ones that are vanilla -y in a kind of vanilla ice cream way or vanilla -y with things like coconut. Um, so they're kind of creamy or vanillas that kind of are a bit more like custard or white chocolate so the if there if it's like a perfumey vanilla not into it if it's like a really natural vanilla essence probably not going to be into it if it's if it smells like it's like milk or cream with it much more likely to enjoy it so this is one that dries down quite quickly into a full vanilla perfume but to me this is a, quite a custody kind of vanilla so this is fc uk friction hair and this one it's quite i mean i've seen this one talked about actually on youtube so this is one that lots of people have and i think it's quite popular i think the bottle's really nice i think it's rather pretty i think it's kind of cool it's also quite big um, you can get these in, in absolutely huge bottles. I think they do friction in maybe like 150 mil. This one I think is a 100 mil. And you can basically get 100 mil for a tenner. The longevity is famously not very good in these, but I think they're, I think this is quite a nice perfume because it's also light, so it's quite good for summer. So even if you, like me, are a bit fussy about really sweet perfumes, this is actually one you can wear in kind of low summer when it's not too hot. I wouldn't wear this on like a 30 degree day, but if you want something cozy and comforting, then this isn't too bad for, you know, warm weather. If you are someone who loves really sweet perfumes and you normally wear really sweet perfumes, this will be excellent for you just for high summer because it's going to be f still really sweet and kind of girly, but super, super fresh. So the notes in this, they haven't got kind of the pyramid here. They've only just got the notes generally. So the notes for um, Friction Her by FC UK are coconut, sponge sugar, vanilla, red berries, apple blossom, honeysuckle, musk, amber, jasmine, sandalwood, woodsy notes and vetiver. So like I said, the dry down on this is a kind of custody vanilla and a little bit of coconut, I'd say. But it's very vanilla -y, especially more on the skin than on a card. I'll just spray again, excuse me, to get the top notes. Ooh. Okay. And then if you can see on here, it's got that on the front and then the back is just that. Some people sometimes say that they think they've got a fake bottle because they only seem to notice like one of the sides and don't check both. But honestly, like there's literally no way you're going to get a, fa a fake FC UK. They're not expensive perfumes. There's literally no reason to make dupes of these. Um, and they're not popular enough either. So. You get the red berries, the sponge sugar, the coconut and the vanilla in the top. And you get apple blossom, which is giving an apple -y scent, but... I would say there's something about the coconut and the berries and that apple blossom that makes it smell almost pineapple-y. So there's, it's almost a pina colada smell when you first spray it, but it's like quite gentle. It's really nice. This is a really nice perfume. It's one that I was quite surprised that I enjoyed, but it was a super bargain. I'd, I'd seen some people talk about this one and I just sort of wanted to try it and see what I thought. Um, because I do think that I'm less freaked out by vanilla if there's coconut as well. So if it's, it, you know, it, it starts to smell like a vanilla coconutty cream and I quite like that. This smells quite edible. It's not... Mm, do I get them wood? No, it's not very woody. I can't smell the jasmine. 
um it's kind of it's slightly warm but not massively like I mean I say custard it's not a hot custard this it's a cool it's a cold custard <laughs> that's probably sounds gross but it's not it's more you know what it's like it's like a, a creme brulee you know I think the sponge sugar is helping with that I think it's like if you made a creme brulee out of coconut milk and vanilla and then like had the sponge sugar on top and then like sprinkled some apples and berries and you know that's what this smells like yeah it's really actually quite fresh and yeah that apple blossom is definitely giving it a slightly appley smell and it's I think this is really pretty it's an absolute bargain um it smells nice it doesn't last that long but it's a massive bottle so you can constantly respray it you do I mean it's a skin scent you know and it remains a skin scent with just that kind of creamy coconutty vanilla for a long time it it stays like that for quite a while um so I I mean again I I notice vanilla quite a lot so it's not a surprise that I notice that there's a vanilla smell when I when I've got one on me but yeah I think this is actually a really good shout I think this is quite yummy I really like the bottle I think it's really pretty this is all kind of plastic this is a really nice glass but I think it just has a really nice modern look to it that I enjoy and I enjoy this color as well I just think it's really nice I, I would I would totally happily recommend this as a very sweet summery skin scent I think it's really nice